What's up guys, it's Roger, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use your Blink and Trials of Osiris on the Cauldron. Now specifically today we are doing a Blink Hunter build. If you want to see the Blink Warlock build I made yesterday, then go ahead and check that out. I might have used a little something called Telesto, maybe you've heard of it recently, people have been talking about it a little bit. But today we're using a different build brought to you by one of my mods in my server, Blinkville. Uh, check that out in the description if you'd like to. Thank you, Vortex, who's actually, uh, he renamed himself to Telesto recently, but I'm going to call him Vortex. He said, hey, check out this build with the Macabre Sniper Rifle and the Empirical Evidence Sidearm. So that's what we're using today. Pretty simple build. So we're going to break that down in one second. Before we do that, I do want to say I just opened up memberships on the channel the other day. So if you look below this video, you'll see a join button. You can click that and check out all the membership perks I have on the channel, including things like shout outs at the beginning or ends of videos. On Sunday or Monday, I'm going to be doing trials games with my members, so if you do want to play with me, there's your ticket in, <laughs> and several other things, including a Discord role specifically for you if you join the Puffer people. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and check that out. And then a shout out to my first member so far, Cranky Panky. You've been watching the channel forever, my dude, and I truly always appreciate you. I appreciate everyone, but really, really appreciate that just extra mile of support, and uh, just thank you so much. So, all that out of the way, let's go ahead and break this build down. Now, the star of the show here is going to be the Macabre Sniper Rifle. Now, I quite like this sniper. If you watched two weeks ago, I actually used this in a Blink Warlock build, and I wanted to do some more Blink sniping, but today I wanted to do the build on a Blink Hunter, and I had a lot of fun with it. So, on my Macabre here, I have no distractions and moving target. This just helps so I can aim down sights and get onto people really easily and reduce the flinch I take, get a lot more stability and all this kind of stuff, get some extra strafe speed and stuff. So it's just very helpful for me to be able to aim down sights and take people out with this sniper rifle that has the combo right here. When we want to go close range, the empirical evidence sidearm is very good for that. This is an aggressive burst sidearm, so it has two burst fire, right? So you shoot two bullets out each time you shoot. I put a full auto retrofit on that. Now this is a craftable sidearm. I don't really have it leveled up too much yet, so I only have the base roll, but once I get it leveled up, I'm going to do another video on this thing because, ooh, it's going to get even crazier. But even right now, it's so good. So right now we only have extended barrel, appended mag, Pulse Monitor, and Adagio. Now, Adagio is a great perk on this, and I think I'm going to go for Enhanced Adagio when I can actually get it crafted, because Adagio does one thing. It makes your TTK super fast. You can just burst people, like, so quickly, and you'll see in the gameplay today, whenever I get Adagio per procced, I just keep going on and keep fighting and fighting and fighting because it's so strong, and you will see in the gameplay that this is quite a strong sidearm, and I definitely recommend it. Coming over to our exotic armor, I'm going to be using the Dragon's Shadow. Now, I've never tried this out until today, but I actually quite like it. So, there's different dodges. One of the dodges will reload your ammo, and the other dodge will give you some other perks that we'll go over in a bit, but I'm using the one that gives you the other perks, right? Well, then you can use the Dragon's Shadow, and then still get to reload your weapons just from dodging. So, dodging reloads all weapons and increases both movement and weapon handling speeds for a brief time. I think this is really good for when you want to pair with the sidearm. You get a bunch of handling and movement speed bonus is straight to that sidearm and you can just take people out really really easily it immediately reloads it so you can dodge in the middle of a gunfight after you kill the first person with your sidearm and then have an entire clip of adagio bullets ready to go and that's just kind of the combo that i was doing for the most part with the dragon shadow it's a very simple exotic but passively it really does help you out quite a bit if you want to check out the mod, you can go ahead and do so really quickly. Just things to help our sidearm and our sniper out the best we can. But with all that covered, I think we can go ahead and break down our ARC 3.0. So in the ARC 3.0, I'm going to go ahead and only touch on the key things I need to here and brush over everything else. I have Gathering Storm here. I have this dodge, like I said, Gambler's Dodge. So when we dodge near an enemy, we fully recharge our melee ability, which we love to see, because I'm going to be pairing that with a Tempest Strike. Tempest Strike, of course, when you slide, you can shoot out a long bolt of electricity that can kind of chain between targets and just beat the snot out of them. And that's something I really love, and I think it pairs very well with a sidearm build, because it has the perfect range that you can shoot that out after hitting somebody with sidearm bullets. Maybe you run out of sidearm bullets. You can shoot that out and kind of pick up the Kill, or you can even initiate with it, jolt your target, and then use your sidearm to finish them off and get amplified. There's a lot of different things you can do, and I think this pairs perfectly with this build. Now, of course, I do have flow state here, so that when we defeat a jolted target, we can get amplified. I have arc bolt grenades on here. We have blink, and then combination blow. Uh, arc bolts, I think, are pretty perfect for this build, and just kind of, I think they might be my favorite nades, honestly. So we are running those. Down here on the fragments, let's finish this off. I have spark of recharge, so when we get critically wounded, your melee anger and energy regenerates more quickly. That's just one way to get our 
our abilities back quickly. We love to see that. And then I have Spark of Focus. So after sprinting for a short time, your class ability regeneration is increased. You do lose 10 mobility there. So if you don't want to lose mobility, that's up to you. I'm fine at 80. Um, I'm fine at 100. I'm fine at 60. So I don't really care where I am, to be completely honest with you. But I would rather have the boost here so I can get my dodge back even quicker. After that, I have Spark of Shock, so your arc grenades do jolt targets. You do lose some discipline there, but I think it's fine, like, whatever. There's so many ways to get your nades back, so I, it's fine with me. And then we have Spark of Ion, so defeating a jolted target creates an Ionic Trace. So again, you know, you jolt somebody with a nade, then you kill them, you're immediately going to get an Ionic Trace back and get a lot of your nade energy back anyways. So it's kind of a trade-off there, and it's a really good thing that you kind of loop into each other. So that is the Arc 3.0, so I think we basically have everything covered. And since we do have everything covered, I think we're about ready to just hop into this gameplay. Uh, if you guys want to leave me a like on this video, I would really appreciate that. It definitely helps the channel out. And we're so close to 3k subs. If you'd like to sub at any point in the video, I would super appreciate that. And then, like I said, go check out the membership stuff down under the video too uh, and see if you're interested in that. But I think we have everything covered, so why don't we go ahead and blink on into this gameplay. Now, when it comes to Cauldron, I do like the Blink for a lot of reasons, especially getting to mid is super, super fast. Even on something that doesn't have Astro Sight Verse, like our Blink Hunter here, you can see I get on bridge very, very quickly and I hold down. I barely missed that guy. I over-adjusted my snipe to the right of that guy's head, but I decided, hey, I'm going to go for a flank. I throw out my nade here to try to hit him, take some shots. The nade actually does connect, so we got to remember that he is jolted. Look on the left side of my screen. I do have a Wraith Metal Mail, and watch how long that's active. It stays active for like 12 seconds, I swear. Like, it stays active forever. I Blink up to my top here. I was going to go left, but I saw my teammates had a handle, and this guy was pushing my right. Now I have a Dodgio proc, so I'm looking to fight the other guy with my Dodgio. I dodge to the left, so I'm going to get Wraith Metal Mail proc again, which reloads my weapon, gives me extra handling, and I just smack him down. More Dodgio proc. Your Dodgio, I think, goes to six and a half seconds when it's enhanced. I think it's just four seconds or something around the uh, time like that when it's not enhanced, which is how mine is right now, but it's still a very, very good perk. Now, we saw people pushing up on our radar there to our right, but also this Invis guy coming up on the left right through that door. You can see I'm whiffing a little bit on the sniper shots. I get some good snipes as we get into the place today, but of course these are my first couple plays of the day, so I was missing a bit. Look at the range you can do, especially with Adagio right there. I just mapped that guy from pretty dang far away considering this is a sidearm. I don't have range finder on this thing. I don't even have as much range as I'm going to be able to get when I actually get this thing upgraded and crafted to the top tier that I can. But especially when you get Adagio proc, the range on this sidearm is absolutely beautiful. Now you can see here sometimes, like this guy comes outside. I have the range for that but i was getting kind of beat up my teammates i was hoping they could just secure the kill fortunately they do i come here i quick scope that one guy i shoot this guy once in the belly button and then i punch him in the face and smack him down tear both of his nuts off his body and send him to the afterlife and it's just quite the place that i like to hold here is under bridge or above bridge you can see i'm going on top of bridge now so i can peek towards their spawn but where i was holding under the bridge right there is also a good place to check if you notice especially the only reason i was checking under bridge there is most likely because i noticed throughout this gameplay so far that people had been challenging me there so if they're challenging me there a lot then i'll probably check there myself at the beginning of a round. I use my blink to get to the right side of the door here so I can take aim with my sniper from farther back. I reload my sidearm and I get looking onto this ghost. If you get a kill, make sure you're checking it and can actually watch the res instead of just letting the enemies have it. And there's a good combo you can do as well. Always remember that, of course, swapping off a sniper is a good thing to do, and if someone's rushing you, you can just shoot a sniper shot into their belly button, and then, you know, take out your sidearm and take them out in, like, one burst if you can get them to the head, and, like, a burst and a half if you can get them in the body. Uh, the recoil pattern on this thing is quite vertical. It basically goes straight up, but it does have a good amount of kick, especially when you keep shooting and shooting and shooting. I think even on controller, it would not be very hard to control, but even I am still learning the recoil pattern to hit more headshots. You can see there, I hit a good amount of headshots. I have a Adagio proc, so I go to take the peek on this guy. Adagio's counting down, I go in, I use my Tempest Strike to make him 1 HP, and then easily smack him up with my shots there from the sidearm, and I'm amplified after that because he got jolted from the Tempest Strike, so you gotta remember there's things like that, there's combos you can do to easily get amplified. If I did that earlier in the round, I'd have been in an even better place, but as it happened there to clean up the round, it's a very good thing to do. Again, look over here. Tempest Strike just smacked one guy, I turned around, punched his Betty in the face there, he's Betty, I'm just misspeaking right now, his buddy, I punched him in the face too, take them both out. I had the rest of this clip in here because I was just like, you know, what happens, what happens, but finally my teammate resonated me, I get my invis here. Uh, remember, when you do blink and you have invis, it's going to knock the invis off you, so be careful about that. But again, Tempest Strike is so good, and when I could just smack those two guys down there, and then punch one more time, and finish both of them off, that's a pretty impressive thing to show. Now, you could do your other uh, fragment, the Lethal Current, if you wanted to. I think it would still work very well, but I do think Tempest Strike 
does pair with a sidearm build much better than the Tempest Strike does. I think Tempest Strike is best for SMG and or shotgun builds especially. Now I'm looking towards mid here again. This is mainly where I hold most of the time. It works out there because my teammate gets smacked. I get a nice snipe on that guy's head and I actually misplayed a little bit here. I didn't think that nade would be so big and I took a little too much damage from it. Luckily my teammate followed up and we did get a tie which is better than a loss. But the snipe was nice, it was just a little bit too aggressive on the blink in there, but I wanted to go in with my sidearm, you know, I got that nice snipe pick, and I wanted to see if I could go in with the sidearm after that. I'm looking at my radar here, and I see that there's a guy in front of me, so I body him, come with my sidearm, smack him up, now I have a dodgeo, I'm looking for the next guy, fly over him, and I think I'm gonna damage glitch him or something, because... It looked like I just kind of like loaded a bunch of damage on him. Maybe my teammate did shoot him or something, but either way, you see the Adagio can cook pretty well, blinking over them. And you have to remember as well that um, the Empirical Evidence, whatever it's called right here, I'm already forgetting. I'm so bad at remembering the names of new guns nowadays, I swear. But this sidearm does have very good airborne effectiveness, actually. So if you're looking to do airborne effectiveness plays, you can do them quite reliably with this sidearm. You can see how good the abilities are right there. Fly in after my nade there, use my Tempest Strike, and just smack those guys down. My teammates do a nice follow-up on the other side, and we take them out pretty good. Apparently, I didn't hit that guy right there. I must have been like a millimeter off. Snipers are very accurate. You do have to be very much on point. And I hit some good snipes today, but everybody misses. It's just part of the gamble, right? I'm flying in here because I knew I was going to be in perfect range for this sidearm to take these guys out if I could get them, and that's what happened here. Take him out. Now, I have a Dodgio, so I was ready to fight him in a longer range, like right here. Only one bullet hit, so I fly over the top of him so I could actually land on him with my blink take him out midair but he ran into my teammate too so either way I was fine with that use your blink to get over people and pinch them in between you and your teammates and then they only have one of two choices you know run towards you or run towards your enemy either way they're most likely going to die a nice nade in here jolts my enemies use the lethal current or the uh, tempest strike excuse me to smack both those guys down I'm amplified fly in hit some shots punch him in the face take him out and it's just that easy you have to understand that Shotguns are great for a little shotgun melee combo, sure, but sidearms are pretty good for them too, especially these aggressive first sidearms where you can get really close to somebody and just smack them down with a nice shot there. Hit that guy in the head, I had to show that snipe off for you guys because I was like, holy heck, I can't believe I just hit that. And literally, that is what I feel like always happens to me. Like, I'm just giving somebody all the flinch in the world, and somehow they just, like, go to the next plane of existence. They go to the fourth dimension. They can see an entirely new dimension, and that's how they just snipe me in the head. That's what I always feel like happens, and I actually got to do it to somebody else right there, even though I was, like, receiving the wrath of everybody's flinch, of everybody that has died in the past 50 years in this freaking game. But I was still able to hit him in the head, so I was like, I gotta show that off. Hiding in the corner from that suppression nade there. Two sniper bullets still left, so I'm kind of just waiting to see if I can get an angle on these guys. And it looked like they were pushing to my right, but I also want to be careful from my left. If they are pushing to my right, that's great. I want to help my teammates out. But at the same time, I don't want to completely show my cover away, you know, show my hitbox from the left side in case they push from there. You can see this guy, I bodied him, so I decided, okay, I'm going to go in. I did just that. I was able to kill him really easily with my sidearm because he had not fully healed. And then with my Adagio proc, I was able to cook the second guy pretty easily there. And that's what I'm saying. You can get easy double kills with this thing with just having a Adagio proc. Smack this guy in the head. There you go. See, I get some good snipes sometimes. And I'm looking for another snipe on these guys. Unfortunately, the door closes and I see they are both to my left. I come in here, I blink above this guy, and I I mostly wanted to show this clip because I wanted to show I hate Paragon Greaves so much and you hear me complain about them but I just hate that you can be the better player you can do a cool play like I did right there where I have a nice outplay on him where I blink above him I get around him and I'm about to smack him with my sidearm and then no because he pressed one fucking button and he's a titan and he just gets a shoulder charge me and just full kill me and I just it shouldn't exist it, it really shouldn't speaking of a titan getting what he deserves though nice peregrine gives you a little shit stain get smacked in the ground just like your buddy here and then i'm gonna come in here and guess what i think i'll kill your third teammate too just because i kind of feel like it so that's really good that you and your peregrines are having such a great day how about i just kill your entire team and i'll have a better one hey anyways look at this guy i bodied him right there unfortunately could not get the headshot and my nade got stuck on that door remember there is that little lip on the doors there so be careful of those because your nade might get stuck just like mine did it's unfortunate but it's gonna happen i blink into the side of these guys and just cook both of them real clean there that brings us to a nice 4-0 we were smacking these guys pretty good and it's just like we won that round but the fifth round wasn't very exciting so i didn't show it for you guys but that was a good match and i had some good matches in here today i kind of missed both well i missed my first shot there i was able to body in the second time 
and then I came around for a flank. Once I have shot both my shots, what I do is I go for a flank as quickly as I can. I dodge immediately, so now my gun is completely reloaded, and I can go for another fight on these guys. I don't want him to have the reds, which is why I was taking shots at him, but at the same time, I need to live too if I can. I use this hole to my top right right there. That is an amazing spot to rotate with your blink. Keep that in mind. I rotate there with my blink. What I was going to do was land on the ground, shoot a tempest strike at him, and then finish him off with my sidearm, but my teammates pushed off, so I didn't even have to do that. But keep that rotation in mind, because it is a very nice spot. There's another nice snipe for you. Smack that guy in the head. I see a bunch of Osteostrikas. Unfortunately, I missed my second snipe there. So I blink in right here. Again, Tempest Strike straight into some sidearm shots. Finish him off really easily. Okay, I kill two people. All I need is one little piece of help. My teammate finished off the last guy, and we get a dub there. Now, this guy, I missed that guy a little bit, which is unfortunate. I was just doing something here. I was just watching my teammate, you know, and that's why exactly right there. I was able to get a pick. I went around to the right side. I used my blink to rotate really, really quickly to the right side, blink right behind this guy, and start taking shots. I kill one guy. I proc my adagio. I use my dodge to fully reload my gun. I come back in. I cook the shield with my adagio proc, and then I cook him subsequently right after. So seriously, as much as you can, make great use of that Adagio because it is probably the best part of this gun. I mean, it has good airborne effectiveness, it has a good perk pool. What I'm looking to get is Enhanced Perpetual Motion with Enhanced Adagio for my barrel and whatnot. I'm probably going to get Ricochet Rounds and Small Bore, I think will be the best choice to pair with all those different perks, and I think that will be an absolute beast, and often a uh, range masterwork too, I think is what I'm going to go for, so I'm very excited to keep getting this thing leveled up, and it only needs like level 15, I think, before you can get all of that together, so I'm pretty excited for that. I'm blinking behind this guy, I punch him once in the nut, give him a second punch, do a dodge, and now we have our weapon reloaded if it wasn't before, take some shots, take him out, we're doing real good there. Now coming into this next clip, I wanted to say before this clip gets over, the next two clips I want to show you, there are just these like, hacking, abusing scum, and I don't mean they're like abusing meta or something, no 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 no, they're abusing lag. And it's something that's been very big this season. You're going to see it, especially in this first clip here, but it happened the whole game. I have two clips for you to see it, though. So watch this first kill I get. Look how long it takes to process. One, two, three finally processes. Now watch this guy. I punch him three times. You can hear the noise. It processes all three punches, but only one of them actually does damage. And then he just lags away. And my teammate actually did kill him there, which is like the only round we won that entire match. And again, right here, look at this. Blink up, punch him. It does the noise. It fully connects, but no damage. Half my bullets don't even connect to this guy. And then he just does that BS. So I want to show you guys that stuff. Uh, tell me if that happens to you often. It doesn't have to be too, too often as the season has gone on, but definitely this season has been infested with lag abusers and it's just like those guys are the most pathetic players so i had to call him out right there and show him off to you guys if you see him in your games uh i don't know send him a message and call him a little pussy boy anyways getting to the end of the video here and i want to say thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it if you want to leave me a like a comment subscribe or hit the notification bell so you can see more in the future and if you want to join the puffer people like i said go click join on my channel page or right below this video and you can see all the perks you can get if you do want to join and be one of my first members to ever happen when they have one so far so hey if you want to get more and also you can play with me at some point in trials probably maybe tomorrow who knows but uh, you know that's how it's gonna be so i really appreciate it if you want to do that but hey i appreciate you even if you just want to watch the video and look how good adagio is on this sidearm i love it so much get cooked and that is gonna be it for me today so as always have a great day guardians